What's going on, fellas? How the hell are you? This is Islander. Welcome back to the island. All right, guys, we're going to talk about a few things today, all right? Uh, we're going to catch up on uh, some of the stuff we had from yesterday, all right? A couple of conversations that I had with you guys, a few things that I do want to go over, uh, some new moves that Pixonics are, are, Pixonic is making, all right? We've got some new things going on. This is one of them over here, guys. Go over here to the top left and take a look at that, all right? Watch a video, get a booster, okay? So I'm going to go over there, watch that video in a little bit, get my little, my free booster out of there. Uh, I think that's pretty cool, right? They're kind of going off in different directions as to what they're going to be doing with this videos, all right? If we can get some silver boosters out of this or uh, any other booster other than the damage and health because we get those pretty often already. But still, the fact that we're going to be getting a booster here and there uh, simply for watching a video, I think it's pretty cool. It does bring up an idea that one of the other subscribers had, actually a clan mate of mine, and I'll be bringing that to you in just a little bit get out of here and let's take a look at the workshop because apparently in the workshop there is ads as well i have not seen them uh but they have shown me uh, pictures of them okay there i'm not having any ads in my uh, workshop at this time i am building another pursuer why well simply because i just want another pursuer and i can do that all right so uh let's go ahead and drop into a round of free for all i haven't played a free for all in a few days for you guys and i want to get one in uh have a little bit of fun then we're going to come back and talk about a whole lot of stuff that's going on and uh, let's start getting ready for Halloween, boys. It's coming. I got a few boosters still rolling. We're going to run those boosters. Let's go find a match. Have a lot of fun. Get a little volume going. Oh, nice map. Okay. Uh, let's go and get the order. The order is in. And then we will move the speed. Okay, we got a spider on the other side. Take a couple of shots to say hello. And we got a falcon. Nice. Two big, fat, juicy bots. And he does have some some thickness to him. So we're gonna come over here. They got each other locked down. And now I'm gonna take some heat from the back and block that off. Oh, he's 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 in on it. So, oh my god, we got big old fat boys everywhere. I've already been putting last stand, and now I am the center of attention. Yeah, get the areas, boys. You bunch of bullies. <laughs> okay, that did not work out well at all. We're going to move over to the Alju. And we got some thick bots on the other side. Jeez. Okay, we're going to stray off. We're going to hit to the, the center. And coming up on the 1.5 minute mark, we still don't have a kill. Let's see if we can stick this one out. Nope. Somebody else got it. Nice. I'm going to drop the payload and get a reload. Coming up on the two minute mark, still no kill. Good job, guys. Everybody's playing a little defensive. Everybody's got some thick bots on their side, so nice tanks. That's my boy right there. Let's move in. We got to get this kill. Got to get on the board. We'll start working our way over there to the right side. Let's see if we can pick this guy up right here. Now they're going to get him. So look at that. I was in first place there, guys, with just with just one kill, which means no, nobody's really getting kills right now. I believe that is an out June. We got lag. Uh-oh. Not the ideal place to drop. We're, we're going to commit to the Aljun. And we're dead. Don't 
All right, we were able to sneak that one out. I don't know how we got the kill. Let's get into the pursuer. Even though they are thicker bots, uh, I'd like to get a little speed on my side. Jesus, got some thick skin. And that is a traditional falcon. Let's get out of here. Don't lose a kill. Oh my gosh, solid. Wow, good play guys. Really, really, everybody's really doing a little bit of strategic work here. Nobody's really going out of the open. Maintaining their cover, very smart play. Coming up on the five minute mark, only two kills. Here's my target. Okay, let's get the quantum, and we're in. Commit. Fall back. Pick up the kill. Oh. All right, we were able to jump into first there, but only with four kills. And this guy's going to pick this kill up right back. So I need to get away from him and find out who I'm going to sacrifice this kill to. It cannot be to him. Let's go. Kill. Steal it. Steal it. Kill me. Kill me! <laughs> Come on, kill me! Atta boy. Thank you. Thank you so much. And it was a calamity. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get the areas back in. Get a little bit of punchy power. There it is. Get a reload. And this bot is not going to last very long. We are in the center and everybody's going to take a piece of us. Both of us. <laughs> We're all getting hit. <laughs> We're getting scourged to death. Oh my god. Okay, let's get our scourges in. Oh my god, this is just amazing. Nice little group of guys. Get out of here. Okay, that one little kill that I stole earlier uh, was able to, to get me into a nice little comfortable spot with a slight advantage on, on, on the kills. But everybody in this game is playing extremely tactical, very, very smart. Nobody really putting themselves in a bad position. Can reload. And we're going to set ourselves up on the other side now. It's going to take a little while to get there, but we're coming up on the two-minute mark, and we need to get in position to get this kill. Now, everybody else is kind of keeping a distance away from him, and that's fine. Uh, I'm not concerned about him getting killed. What I'm most concerned about is getting myself put into position where I can take this kill. So he's pretty much already figured out what I'm doing and moving his way to the center. Actually, no, he's putting himself in position to take me on. Ah, 
Oh my gosh, nice. So he backed off, he found cover. I'll be doing the same. And he should make a push for me now. He's got no choice. Get cover and some more help back. Number two is just kind of hanging back there. You're not really interested in coming across this yet. And we're in. We got to come in now. Try to get an angle on him. He's coming out to the open now. So will we have enough ammo? No, we will not. They're going to take that kill from him. Well played. Stay out of the 500 meters. Man. Hey, who are these people, man? This is actually one of the most strategic bank games that I've been in in a while, guys. Nobody overcommitting, nobody making foolish mistakes. Uh, everybody keeping their place. Uh, guys dropped from the beginning all the way to the end. Only seven kills will take the first place. Thumbs up, guys. Don't know who you are, but about to find out. Mm, not right now. Go to the players. All right, uh, okay, Nostradamus, I recognize Nostradamus. That's the only one I recognize. Oh, no, actually, uh, there's uh, Tre Trevelock from Fear. So, all right, a couple of guys here that, that I do recognize. Uh, but all in all, very solid play, very tactical play. You can see the seven, the kills, seven, five, five, three, three, all right? And the bottom guy didn't drop in. It would have been nice if we would have had that last six player. Uh, but it is what it is, good play. All right, guys, let's jump over to the notes. And uh, we already talked about the... Uh, The ad that's right here, actually, do I have time to watch that ad? What time I got left? 24 minutes. All right, we can do that. I'll watch that ad a little bit later on. And let's get back over here one more time and take a look at the workshop. And still no ads there. Okay, but they are there, and I have seen the screenshots. Now, let's go ahead and move it to the notes real quick. Let me pull those up. Okay, so we're talking about the ads in the workshop uh, for the boosters. We already discussed that just a little bit. Uh, I have not seen them yet, but I know they're there. Like I said, they've been showing them to me on a lot of screenshots. Okay, now this came in from uh, one of the guys there in HC uh, talking about coming into the workshop, right? And we can build weapons and we can build bots, all right, in the workshop. Now, what he wants to do or what his idea is and what he wants Pitch to uh, Pixonic is being able to build uh boosters in the workshop booster packs all right so if you want silver boosters you want you know speed boosters you want uh health boosters uh shield boosters depending on what booster you want would you like to be able to build that build that in the workshop 2.0 what kind of silver will we build it for what would be the cost on it all right is it beneficial to the players to waste silver in that area i don't know all right i i think it's a pretty good idea because a lot of people are lacking boosters a lot of people have more silver than they do boosters and you know uh, would it be an advantage i i mean would it be uh fair enough to say do uh to do that i think so i did like the idea all right and that's why i'm going to pitch it to you guys let me know what y'all think about that would you like to be able to build boosters inside of workshop 2.0 all right now we do know that they have the uh the bot, all right? The bot that they're asking for the community build. And a couple of ideas did come up, and I do want to bring two of these ideas uh, that were mentioned yesterday uh, in the comments section. Uh, one of them is a Blitz-style robot, okay? Now, hear this out, guys. Instead of shooting out a suppression uh, to the enemy team, all right, this would shoot a healing uh, 
beam uh, to his fellow players, all right? So he would be able to heal you uh, from 300 400 350 meters away so instead of having to get right up on top of you like the uh, uh the healer bots do all right like like the the mender and and the tier instead of you having to be right in that circle okay he can turn around and shoot you uh from 350 meters away thus giving you health i thought that was a hellacious idea i do like it i would love to see three to four uh, light weapons on it and the ability to heal from 300 50 to 400 meters out, I think would be a really cool, maybe even 500 meters out, hell, I don't know, y'all give me your feedback, all right, that was one of the ideas that I did like a lot, it's something uh, that was similar to what we have in the game, but it, it adds a different twist to it, all right, instead of a suppression or uh, an internal weapon, it is an internal internal healing module, okay, or an internal healing beam, I did like it, y'all give me your feedback on that one, uh, I think he should submit it. I told him to go ahead and do so. He's probably going to see this video and definitely give him a little feedback on it. So I hope he goes forward with that one, all right? Uh, the next one that came in, guys, was a uh, a bot that has two security drones flying around it, all right? So this will be a bot that has two light weapons and will have two security drones, each of them with a light weapon on it, uh, thus defending it. I thought that was a pretty cool little concept. I have seen drone bots uh, accompanying other bots in... in uh, in other games before, okay, we are, we are talking about the Bastion right now. We are talking about AI intelligent bots that are flying themselves. This one would be a robot that operates and has two security drones covering him at all times. I thought that's a pretty neat little concept. Uh, I hope he had submits that idea. Uh, I like it. I really did like that a lot, okay? Uh, let's see, what else are we talking about? Ah, yes. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of this. And let's get back and let's talk about operations just a little bit. Okay, now, my idea yesterday, and of course, I was speaking on my own behalf on this one, all right, was to go ahead and instead of having uh, a two-month deal on the operations, to cut it down uh, to one month, all right, thus also cutting down the level of operations from uh, 80 to 40, okay? And pretty much 95% of you guys just knocked me out of the water, right? I got all kinds of negative feedback on that idea. Uh, it was a horrible idea. Uh, you guys are pretty much comfortable with the operations right where they stand, all right? Some of you are progressing slower than others. Uh, some of you guys are already done with it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and retract that idea, uh, gauging by the overwhelming negative response I got from uh, you guys going uh, from two months to one month. Uh, most of y'all are pretty much our majority of y'all are comfortable uh, with the with the uh, two month operation deal. You know, not everybody is a a player that plays twenty four seven. All right, uh, you know, there's a lot of people people that 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 play a lot of slower. Okay, they're they're not necessarily grinders. Some of them are casual players, but are participating participating in the operations and want the opportunity. You know, to finish it off. So. On that note, guys, I appreciate all y'all's feedback, all the negative slapping that y'all gave me around. Uh, I'll take it with a grain of salt, and uh, yeah, I'll retract that 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 wish. All right, uh, let's see what else we're we talking about here. Awesome, guys. All right, the twenty five percent discount. Now, this is something we talked about yesterday, and uh, my deal was talking about the economy and how I have backed off from attacking the economy based on the 25 percent discount okay now one of the subscribers came up and said well the 25 percent discount should not be uh during the events only all right this guy would like to see the 25 percent discount come into full play like in other words we'd get the 25 percent discount permanent on the cost of the silver upgrade okay now coming into play for the events would come a 25 per discount uh, discount on the gold so if you want to rush it all right you can use the 25 percent discount during events uh, of gold therefore you could run your your discounts uh during the the regular time or with a 25 percent discount you know as, as your bots go and then you could go ahead and hoard some gold towards the event and then get another another 25 percent discount there only on the gold guys to rush it what do y'all think about that would you like to see the 25 percent come in uh permanent and then of course Later on down the line or in between the, the the special events, you would get a gold discount in order to rush your, your bots at that time. Thus, giving everybody the opportunity to hoard a little bit of gold or purchase a little bit of gold and doing things at once. I thought that was, that was a kind of cool idea, all right? 
I do like the way it is going right now. I, I am a fan of it. I am able to hoard up uh, silver and then do it all at once. All right. During the last two uh, discounts that we've had, all right, I took full advantage of one of them. Okay. Within about a week, a week and a half, another one came up. Okay. I was out of silver. All right. So I was not able to take advantage of anything on that. Yeah, I did a few upgrades here and there, but it was nothing special that could really help me out. All right. Right now, I am back up to about 193 million in uh, silver, about 14K gold. Uh, did really good with the operations. I am liking it. Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think about his idea. I thought it was a pretty decent idea. All right, guys. And last but not least, one more thing to discuss. All right. Today, they did have a little video, okay? And they were showing off the silver button they received. The silver button is something that a YouTuber gets when he reaches 100,000 subscribers, okay? Now, they're talking about the, the silver button. And, of course, they're talking about the leech and uh, the 5.3 updates. But they did say in the very beginning of the video, okay? You know what? Let me see if I can pull that up. Let's go ahead and jump on over to YouTube. Well, I'm going to play a little portion of this, all right? Uh, the rest of it is them talking about uh, getting the, the silver button. But let's get in here real quick. And watch the beginning of this, guys. I'm going to put some volume on it. We're going to go back. Basically, after the 5.3 update and after the leech, there's going to be something like B. Right. Uh, yeah, you got it right. Uh, okay. oh, hey guys. All right, let's get out of there. All right. So after the 5.3 update, which we've already had, okay, and after the leech bot makes its appearance, something big is coming down the pipe. Now we know we got Halloween coming up. All right. Uh, what is going to come in? This is the point. Are the I am at the point, guys, where I am going to go on the hunt. All right. I'm going to go fishing for information. I'm going to hit up every source I got. I'm going to be sticking my nose where it doesn't belong, looking for whatever this information is. All right. So I can bring it to you guys as quick as possible. What are they going to do? God only knows. I have no clue right now, but I promise you, I will do everything in my power, uh, to bring you that information as f soon as possible. All right. Could this be the merger? Probably not, all right? But we are getting close to the end of the year, and they did talk about having a merger uh, during the year of, of 2019. So is it possible? It is possible, all right? Is that it? Who knows? But we're going to find out, all right? And uh, like I said, I'm on the hunt. I'm going to find information for you guys, and as soon as I get it, as soon as I hear something, you're going to hear it, all right? That is my whole job of, of the news channel is to try to bring you the information as quick and as fast as possible so you can know what's up and be in the loop, all right? All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I do want to bring you the information I have. I do want to bring you uh, the follow-ups, all right? Uh, I enjoy the interaction with you guys, all right? Not all of our conversations are, are fine and dandy, all right? We don't agree on everything, and I have come to accept that, all right? One of the best things I, I love about YouTubing is the interaction with you guys, all right? Having conversations. Sometimes we agree on things. Other times we're going to debate things, all right? We're not always going to be on the same page, all right? That is a good part of being able to discuss things in a civil manner, all right? No, I don't have a lot of toxic, a lot of toxic uh, on this channel, and that is a big plus, all right? I do like the fact that every subscriber I have, or majority of them, can come over here, watch a video, give their opinion, all right? May agree, may disagree, but we can discuss it in a civil manner, and that, guys, I commend you on, and it is awesome. Love it, all right? All right, guys, well, what, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap it up now, so... Guys, if you're new to the channel, hit this hit that sub button. Also, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the stuff we're going to have coming up here. And if you did like this video, guys, knock the hell out of the like. I really do appreciate it, and it helps me out. And until we talk again, boys, which is going to be very soon, especially with the news we're going to have coming up, this is Islander signing out.